Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Miss Faye and this is my world. Okay, we're going to talk about the difference between a grown boy and a man. Okay, now I've met a lot of grown boys in my life. Probably more grown boys than grown men. And uh, let me explain. I'm going to tell you how you can spot them. Okay. The grown boy is, uh, is still out here having fun. Just like if he's a teenager. Even if he is a grown man. You know, he doesn't take anything really serious. Uh, he doesn't... Uh, have many responsibilities and if he does you know uh he's kind of lax with them he's not uh stable and when you're uh involved with a grown boy uh he is not taking care of you most likely he requires you to take care of him okay these grown boys <laughs> are looking for mothers, you know, to fill in the gaps because they don't want to take life serious. They um, just want to flit around, you know, different women and enjoy themselves, you see? But it's the women that get messed around when you're dealing with these kind of people. Um, a grown boy usually has not gone through the life experiences uh, that will mature a man. Okay, let me try to say that again. You see, different life experiences mature people. And uh, the grown boy has not gone through these experiences. Many times, the grown boy has uh, never been married. Uh, he doesn't have any kids. You know, and all of those teach you uh, life experiences. And this is how you mature in life. By having different experiences. But the, the grown boy, he's just running around just like as if he was a teenager. Now, some grown boys do have kids, but they are not raising them, okay? For instance, um, yeah, they can have kids all over the place, but it's the woman most likely that's raising them, and they're not even on the scene. You see, men take care of their responsibilities, but grown boys don't. They don't. And you need to avoid these kind of people. Avoid them. Um, <clears throat> number one, if you are not sleeping with people right away, then you can spot him pretty much because he, you know, he's just going to be in and out. He can be still. And he will not stay with you if you're not sleeping with him. This is the grown boy. He's not going to even stick around. You understand? Because he's just looking to have fun. He's not looking to commit to you. He's not looking to take care of you. He's not looking to go around and telling everybody that you're his girlfriend. Grown boys are just out to get what they can get from you. And keep it moving. That's the life of a grown boy. And just don't allow them to live off of you. It's, it's so many of us women out here taking care of these men. Taking care of these men because we like having a man around. So we're willing to do what it takes just to have them around. And I'm going to tell you, if he's around and you're taking care, you got a grown boy. Men, men don't require you to take care of them. And they're not looking for you to take care of them. 
Understand? A man will come in and see what you need, what he can do for you. Not looking for you to do something for him. These are all grown boys. All grown boys. And they are, it's more grown boys out here today than I've seen grown men. Grown men. Because even the men are doing some shenanigans that are not correct. Are not correct. Such as being on the down low. Some grown men are doing that. You see, ladies, uh, in this day and time, it's a very tricky, tricky, tricky situation to get involved with people. Now, if you can get a reference, somebody knows somebody and they've known them for years and, you know, they got a track record. Hey, that may be a good thing to get a reference and meet somebody. Understand? That may be the better way to go. You understand? Than just meeting people on the street. Because nine times out of ten, it's the grown boys that's going to come up to you. It's the grown boys that's going to that's gonna hit on everything that comes back. That's them. That's them. Avoid them, ladies. Avoid them. This is it. When he approaches you, He's only got sex on the brain, I'm going to tell you. And he's and you can tell because when you meet him, he's going to be checking you out up and down and all around. You understand? That's a grown boy. That's a grown boy. Uh, grown boys don't have plans. They don't make plans. They just want to hang out. They just want to hang out. They, they don't... Um, really have a, a future plan. Definitely cannot have a, a future with you in the plan because they don't have a plan. Now, um, many grown boys have uh, vices. You know, they, uh, they drink or they like to get high or something like that. Anything to keep the, keep the party going. Now, um, the downside of you getting involved with a grown boy is that he is non-committal. He's non-committal. Now, um, so he is just there to, to have fun, to get what he can get out of you, and to move on. And you need to be able to spot these people uh, before you get involved with them. You see, and that's why I say again, don't sleep with them right away. This way you can avoid the grown the, the grown boy because all he wants to do is just hit it and keep going. You understand? Now, the other thing a grown boy do, he wants to come and uh, he's looking for somebody to feed him, to take care of him. You understand? Oh, uh, he come over to your house at dinner time. He wants to eat. You understand? Or uh, he might not. He may not have a car. You understand? He may want to drive your car. That is definitely a grown boy. That is not a man to come over and 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 take your car and drive it all around town or wherever he's got to go or whatever, because he is not stable enough to get himself together to buy his own car or or to buy his own home or any of that. Grown boys uh, have not really matured, matured into a man. Uh, a man is stable. He has a strong foundation. He knows who he is. You understand? Um... A man does not flit around 
from woman to woman to woman to woman. He knows who he is. He knows what he wants. He knows what he likes. Grown boys are still sampling. <laughs> They're still going around sampling, trying to figure it out. Now, grown boys can grow up and be men. They can. Um, now, I, I'm not a man, so I don't know what it takes for a man to, for a, a grown boy to turn into a man. But I do know when I see a grown boy. And if he's player, if he's a player, or he's got the he, that is definitely a grown boy. Really. And these men who go around and having all these kids out of wedlock, and some of them not even taking care of them, those are grown boys. Those are grown boys pretending to be men. But a man takes care of his responsibilities. You understand? You don't have to track him down and, you understand, and threaten him and all of that. A man knows how to take care of business. Grown boys don't, and grown boys don't want to know how. And, um, some of us women, we bring these grown boys into our lives and they just tear our lives apart. You understand? Grown boys are coming in and just bring chaos into your life. Total chaos. You see? And then if you make them angry or if they get angry, they may try to destroy your stuff, destroy your house. You know, I've had that to happen to me. You understand? Going around with these people, I've had uh, men to, I reject them. They want to come and break out my uh, uh, windows in my car. All kind of crazy stuff. These are not men. These are grown Boys acting out. They're children acting out. You don't need that. You don't need that. If you're with this type of grown boy, you need to let him go because he does not mean you any good. You he, he's not grown up. He's not a man. He, he can only pretend for a little while, but it's going to fall through the cracks because he doesn't have what it takes to be a man. You see, grown boys are very lustful and um, they're the ones that you see, you know, standing out, showing themselves off with their fancy cars and their fancy suits and stuff, trying to impress you. You understand? Trying to impress you because they only want one thing from you. Understand? And these are not men. They are not men. They are not, uh, they are non committal and they like playing around, playing the field, playing the field still. And you, you can see it the way that they present themselves. It's very easy to detect them. But a lot of times we are attracted by the way that they look because they look really nice. You see, we're attracted by that. And we overlook the real men. The, the real men who look like men and who act like men. We go for these feminine Grown boys. These feminine type grown boys. That's, that's what we're going for. That's where the norm is going. Understand? Myself, I like a man who, who whose nails get dirty. I like a man who, 
who knows how to put his hands in the grind. Understand? A man who sweats. You understand? Understand? These grown boys, I'm telling you, that's what they are. Little boys that just grew up. And that's how they act. That's how they act with you, ladies. If you have children, you definitely don't need a grown boy in the mix. Because now you got an additional child to take care of. Grown boys, grown boys do not make you feel secure because they're not secure. They can only give you what they have inside. And what they have inside is lacking. Lacking for what a woman needs from a man. The grown boy has not matured enough to have that. He can't give that to you. He doesn't have it. Now, grown boys will ask you for money. Yeah, what they'll say is, can I borrow some money? You'll never get it back. That's a grown boy. You understand? Do you want to take on that kind of responsibility? Because that's what they are. They are taking on a responsibility. And um, you'll, uh, being around them, you'll have to watch the way you say things and watch the way you do things. You understand? And, and don't. Trust them around your children because they are children. They are children. You understand? Trying to have a relationship with a grown boy is very, very difficult. Very difficult. Because the grown boy is not taking it seriously. Understand? He's just... Having fun. That's it. And it probably would never go to another level with the grown boy because he he doesn't plan a future. Everything with the grown boy is like in the present. It's like in the present. So uh, it would be difficult for you to... Uh, plan anything with a grown boy because he uh number one he can't be trusted he's not truthful you understand see the difference is grown men take responsibility for their own lives and grown boys don't grown men uh, know how to plan, plan their futures. They have goals. You understand? They have intentions to meet those goals. You see, grown men know their worth. So they don't feel like uh, they need to take advantage of other people. Grown men are confident in their own right. They know who they are. They are secure and stable. And they know how to treat a woman. These are grown men. And when you're with a grown man, you, you feel secure. Now, I'm going to tell you, when, when I was growing up, you could spot a man. Because a man was a person who, he was out working. He was out doing hard work. I mean, you know, and he came home and he had to wash his hands because his hands were dirty from the work that he did. You understand? But today I know men are working in the office and you don't get that kind of thing anymore. They're a little soft. <laughs> Some men's hands are soft as your hands. Softer. But, but, whether he's in the office or not, what I'm saying is, a grown boy has to mature into a man. 
You understand? It is the next step. And a lot of men don't make that next step because, um, I don't know, I guess it's fear uh, of responsibility or, um, or just not having the knowledge. Maybe they didn't have a role model. Maybe they didn't have uh, a, a man role model in their life. I mean, a real man. Maybe they had a grown boy as a role model. And that's what they thought a man is. A grown boy can change if he wants to. This is a free will thing. It's a free will thing. All he needs to do is to, is to find himself. To go inside and find himself. Now he needs to heal up all of his old childhood wounds and everything so that he's not dragging that baggage with him. A lot of grown boys are dragging a lot of baggage because they never face their wounds. But a grown man will do that. He'll sit down and reckon with himself to find himself, to be strong within himself. You see, he has the strength to do that. And a lot of grown boys don't. And they don't won't take the time to do that. Now, if they don't love themselves, they can't love you. You know that, right? If they don't love themselves, they can't love you. And um, if you are in a relationship with with someone, if you are in a relationship with this man or this boy or whoever you think he is, and he is not fulfilling your needs, you could be with a grown boy and not a man at all. Not a man at all. Now, th this is this is a, 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 a tricky situation right here. If you were not raised by a real man, you probably, you probably have difficulty recognizing a real man. Think about it. Think about that. And, and I would, I would say that's why a number of us choose who we choose. Because we are looking at the person that was the father figure in our lives to show us what a real man is. So if the father figure, whether if he was around at all, and if he was not a stable man, then how can you choose a stable man? What do you know? What do you know? What's your model? What the model? I hope I was clear with this message about um, the grown boy versus the grown man. It's the grown man is the one that that you want. Okay, so um, I want to thank you all again for. Uh, watching this video and supporting this channel. Uh, I appreciate you all so very much. And thank you for your comments. Just keep them coming. And uh, if there's something you'd like for me to speak on, if I have experience in it, I will be happy to share it with you. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. And uh, I'm going to wish you all well and much happiness, and I hope to see you next time.